Hi guys, this is Kevin here from the Geek Review channel and uh, today in this video we are going to learn how to uninstall few and uh, disable most of the applications that come pre-installed with the phone. So in order to do that let's uh, take our phone. Let's go to the app drawer and uh, let's click on the drop down menu option on the top right and here we need to click on uninstall and disable and once you are here first we'll uninstall uh, the non asus or google applications so to do that let's start with kindle so if i click on the cross and press ok you'll see that kindle has been uninstalled so let's uninstall tripadvisor as well and uh, we can even uninstall xenio And the rest of the apps that belongs to Google as well as uh, to Asus can only be disabled but uh, it will create a lot of free space uh, in your RAM so that will really help your phone's performance. So let's uh, disable some Asus and uh, Google apps as well. So if in case we want to disable do it later. So if I press OK. So out here this application just disables it doesn't uninstall even if we want to even the data transfer app can be uninstalled that's really cool and even the clean master application can be uninstalled so let's look at if okay i i really don't use mini movies so as you can see the main thing is if in case a particular application doesn't uninstall then it will uh, give you an option to disable it Next, let's uninstall something more. I don't uh, use Omnit Chat and Omnit Chat uninstalls again. That's really great. And if we look at uh, some applications like Party Link, so these applications are from ASUS, so they get uh, disabled. Let's uh, look at some Google apps if we can uninstall or disable it. So, as I said already, we can only disable Google apps. So, let's do that. Well, I don't use share links, so I'll even disable that. Zen circle, I'll disable that as well. What's next? I don't need this, I'll disable this. Play new stand, I don't use this app either, so I'll disable this. So once you have disabled or uninstalled the following application, all you need to do is just click on done. And once you have disabled uh, these applications, you would be wondering how to enable them back. So all we need to do is we need to go to settings and we need to click on apps. And here we need to search for disabled apps. And you will see the list of apps that that you have disabled. Well, the uninstall apps you can uh, again uh, install them or download them from uh, the Play Store. But the disabled app you can just come here and you can click on the application and enable them here. Yeah. So that's it, guys. If you like my video, do subscribe to the channel, do hit the thumbs up button, and uh, this is uh, Kevin signing off from Geek Review.